Welcome to a very quick and a very sunny Let's Overthink This. We're back here on the desert property where we drilled a well not too long ago. And behind me you'll see a shipping container with some solar panels on it. That powers a bunch of security cameras and lights and some other things that keep us safe and secure out here. I wanted to mount the solar panels in a way that didn't put holes in the roof of the container because then water could get in and rust starts. So let me show you how I did that. I know other people have thought of this, but what I decided to do was just to use magnets. Uh, shipping containers are all made out of Corten steel. There's a lot of iron in it. Magnets hold to it really, really well. I used this combination of these Z-clips. They're like bent aluminum flanges that bolt to the bottom of the solar panels, which for the most part you'd probably need anyway. And then these magnets that have a little threaded stud that come out of them. I'll show you how that works. Before I do, let me just state that uh, this is not a sponsored video. I bought all these products myself. Many companies make magnets and these little metal flanges. So the ones I used are absolutely not the ones I'm saying you uh, need to use if you want to do this as well. Here's that Z-clip. I drilled a hole in the middle of it because that's where the ridge on the top of my roof fits. And that has to uh, fit the diameter of the threaded stud that comes out of the top of the magnet. That's why I buy these magnets. They have that threaded stud that comes out of it. And then I use a plastic scraper to get it in place. Plastic being important here because it's easier to get the plastic off. And the extra distance between that magnet and the roof keeps it from sticking really well. I throw some washers on here and then use a nylon lock nut just tighten that up with the right socket. And then again, because I use the plastic scraper, I can pull it right out and it sticks to the roof. Now, if you pull hard enough, it will come up, but really you have to pull quite hard for that to be the case. The magnets come with like a threaded eye hole thing on the top, which is not useful for this application. So I had to buy a box of these nylon lock nuts. In my case, they were a metric five millimeter and they're not expensive. A couple of extra details here. You save on using some of these if you double up. So if you have a few solar panels in a row, you can share the clip in between them as long as you drill the hole in the same place. And then you only need half as many magnets. Uh, once you get to this many panels, it probably makes sense financially to find some sort of a, a rack system. This works really, really well, but probably is best suited for a few panels. The question will come up about theft. Yes, you could just pull these up off of the roof with, a, with enough force. Um, I don't think that using rack systems and bolts and nuts and things are as secure as people think they are. You could also just unscrew those or take an angle grinder to them and pull them off really quickly. But it's true. Um, I have other deterrents for theft uh, on this property anyway. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, I'm aware these panels are not facing the sun a lot of the year, but it keeps it really, really sleek. The wind doesn't catch them. It's an easy mount and I get plenty of uh, energy from the sun anyway. I have links to the products I used in the description below. If you use those links, you pay the same amount and it helps me out a little bit. At any rate, I hope this was useful for you. See you next time.